Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Hashtag Studies. Today we are going to do chapter number 5 which is water from class 7th NCRT. Let us start. When you think of water, what images come to your mind? You can see when you think of water. So like rivers, oceans, backwater, waterfalls, etc. Okay. So the sunset, the sun's heat causes evaporation. So evaporation is formed due to the sun's heat of water into the vapor. When the water vapor cools down, it condenses and form, forms cloud. From there, it may leave, it may fall on the land or sea in the form of rain, snow or sleet. So this all the process, this all the cycle is known as water cycle. The process by which water continuously changes its form and circulates water between oceans. Atmosphere and land is known as water cycle. As you can see, this is the picture of water cycle. Condensation, then precipitation, then running off of the water from the mountains as glaciers. Then evaporation again. The water is evaporated and it is formed in vapors. Then it goes up and it forms a cloud. Then it comes as precipitation. Our earth is like a terrarium. The same water that exists centuries ago still exists today. The water used to irritate, irrigate a field in Haryana may have flowed down the Amazon River a hundred years ago. The major sources of fresh water are the rivers, ponds, springs and glaciers. The ocean bodies and the sea contain salty water or water of the oceans is salty or saline as it contains large amount of dissolved salts. So the water is salty or saline because in that the uh, salt is dissolved. The amount of salt is too much. As we get the salt that we eat, that we put in our vegetables, that we use to make food, that all is coming from oceans. Okay, most of the salt is sodium chloride or the common table salt that you eat. Let us see this. These are major seas, lakes and rivers. Here you can see Mediterranean Sea, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, S Southern Ocean, many oceans are there. So this is distribution of water. What is this? Distribution of water. We all know that three-fourth of the earth's surface is covered by water, okay? If there is more water than on this earth, why do so many countries face water scarcity? When we know that so much water is on our earth, then many countries face like, There is a lack of water. Is all the water on the earth available to us? जो सारा पानी है क्या वो सारा हमें available होता है? The following table gives the distribution of water in percentage. So according to this we get water. Okay, see oceans ninety seven point three. This is a saline water. Okay, all these are fresh waters. Ice caps two point zero. Ground water zero point six eight. Freshwater lakes 0.009. Inland seas and salt lakes 0.009. Or atmosphere 0.0019. Rivers 0.0001. Total is 100.00. So, whenever anybody asks that all the water is available to us or not, no. All the water is not available because so many water is, so much of water is salty. Some is fresh, some is dirty. Let's go on next. Water distribution can be demonstrated by a simple activity. You can see this activity box. By this you can understand or you can observe the distribution of fresh water. You can see this. Two spoons of ground water and nine spoons of ice capes. You can do this or you can perform this activity at your home if you want. Water is absolutely essential for survival. Water alone can quench our thirst when we are thirsty. 
Now, don't you think we are wasting a precious resource when we use water carelessly? Here you can see there are pictures came uh, coming uh, out from newspapers, click from newspaper. Many major rivers in danger of drying out. The water you drink, every drop counted, Ganga almost among 10 dying rivers. So all this. So you should save the water. When you are doing, uh, when you are brushing your teeth, when you are giving water to your plants, don't waste the water. Why is water important for us? Suggest some ways in which water can be conserved in your home and number two is in your school. Next is ocean circulation. This is something magical about walking bare feet on the seahorse. Seashore, sorry. The wet sand on the beach, the cool breeze, the seabirds, the smell of the salt in the air and the music of the waves. Everything is fan fascinating. Unlike the calm waters of ponds and lakes, ocean water keeps moving continuously. It is never still. The movements that occur in oceans can be broadly categorized as waves, tides and currents. So, now the ocean ka jo distribution, the circulation is divided in three four uh, parts. Mein. First is waves. Okay, whenever you go to beach, you can see waves, tides, currents, many things. You can see here, March 22 is celebrated, celebrated as World Water Day when the need to conserve water is reinforced for different ways. So at 22 March, this can be a question, a question can be formed on this that at which day or why 22 March is celebrated. Next is friends waves. When you are playing throw ball on the beach and the ball falls into the water, what happens? It is fun to watch how the ball gets washed back to the shore by the waves. When the water on the surface of the ocean rises and the falls alternately, they are called waves. So these are waves when they rise up on the beach. Waves are formed when winds scrape across the ocean surface. The stronger the wind blows, the bigger the wave becomes. Okay, matlab jitni tez wind chalegi, hawaii chalegi, utna aapka utni badi wave aayegi. During a storm, the wind blows a very high speed from huge waves. These may cause tremendous destruction, an earthquake, a volcano eruption, or the underwater landslides can shift large amounts of ocean water. As a result, huge tidal waves called tsunami, yani ki jo badi badi waves aati hai, what we what we called as, they are known as tsunamis. That may be as high as 15 meter is formed the largest tsunami ever measured as 150 meter high. These waves travel at a speed of more than 700 km per hour. Matlab, wo per hour mein 700 km kar leta hai. The biggest tsunami is 150 meter high. You can see tsunamis in your movies and you can see in Mumbai. The tsunami of the 2004 in Kerala also in coastal areas jahan par bhi pani hoga oceans honge wahan par tsunami aati hai where, uh, in Rajasthan tsunami can't come because there is no water there is no ocean but near Maharashtra Mumbai Kerala there can be uh, cause of tsunami 2004 caused widespread damage in the coastal areas of India. The Indra Point at the Andaman and Nicobar Island got submerged after a tsunami. 